The final award is presented tonight to Colin Orcutt. Colin Orcutt is very much the embodiment of the young journalist who uses new digital technologies to enhance journalism. He spent his summer internship at Sports Illustrated, what a great job that was, producing videos for the website. And when he graduated, lucky guy, the magazine hired him. He files video commentaries and leads the website's effort to incorporate social networks such as Facebook and Twitter. Colin didn't start out that way. He grew up in a small town in Maine with a love of books. He thought he might become a physical fitness instructor, that he might find a job in sports marketing. Instead, he ended up as a bellboy in a hotel and writing about sports on a blog that he started. Suddenly, it dawned on him that he really liked writing about things he observed in a word reporting. So he Googled graduate journalism programs and found a new school in New York that offered much of what he wanted at a price that he could afford. He excelled here, discovering a passion for new media. His capstone project called Walking Away from the Game was a web-based video compilation of athletes who quit professional sports and how it affected them when they walked away from it all. He also received a grant via an entrepreneurial journalism course at CUNY to develop an iPhone app for sports fans, surely a labor of love. Now, with a job at Sports Illustrated, he's able to combine his interest in sports with his skill at multimedia interactive journalism. Says Colin, quote, I love the job and joke with friends that I'm not sure where I'm, where I'm supposed to go from here. If you're lucky enough to start at Sports Illustrated, he said, where is up? Colin, congratulations. Please come get your award. Well, to begin with, um, I'd just like to say that I'm humbled and honored to be in the presence of such accomplished journalists as uh, those in this room, especially Lifetime Achievement Award honoree uh, Charlie Rose. Um, congratulations. I'd also like to wish Barbara Walters, if she's still here, a quick recovery. Um, so just recently, I came across a personal statement I submitted when applying to the J School a little over two years ago. Uh, like a true journalist, I had promptly pushed it from my mind the second I put the essay in the mail. But uh, I found it, and reading it again, I was kind of surprised by what it said. The essay was about what I desired to find and achieve at the J School. Um, I wrote that I wanted to learn skills that would enable me to find a challenging, thought-provoking career, to produce pieces in all mediums that demanded recognition, to take part in the creation of the next wave of journalism, and to plant myself firmly at its forefront. And to end the essay, I wrote that I wanted to make journalism my future. So seeing this now, I realize that in the 28 months since I wrote the piece, every one of those things has happened. In February, I started working for SI Video, Sports Illustrated's newly launched internet video unit. On a given day, I'm pitching stories, shooting in the studio or the field, editing video, distributing our brand through social media outlets, and working with my team in thinking of innovative ways to produce online sports journalism in a way that's true to Sports Illustrated's iconic style. Each day, I'm utilizing every single skill I learned at the CUNY J School. Also, thanks to a generous grant from the McCormick Foundation, I'm in the process of developing FanMob, a social sports app in business, uh, the idea of which sprang from Jeff Jarvis's entrepreneurial class. I'm doing everything from working with developers on the finer functionality of the app to figuring out how to best market my idea. The goal is to create a tool that is a seamless extension of the sports fan rather than another ring or buzz to check occasionally. It's thrilling. It's nerve-wracking. It's exactly what I said I wanted to be doing. None of this could have been accomplished without the support and instruction of the J School. I'd like to thank everyone there from my classmates to the unbelievable teacher, tech staff to the top-notch professors. Each and every person there truly cares about our success as students and more as people. I'd especially like to thank my advisor, professor, and friend, Sanjeev Junarkar, the digital journalism evangelist, and my business guide, Jeff Jarvis, assistant Dean Watson and Dean Shepard, of course, for the unfailing belief in the students. I'd also like to thank Sports Illustrated editor Terry McDonald for taking a chance on me last summer, and my mentor, Jackie Leo, for all of her guidance. Uh, I was talking with my girlfriend last week and said that it felt a bit strange receiving this award in the presence of such distinguished company when I, I myself really haven't accomplished anything in the field, just school so far. 
She told me I was looking at it wrong. This was as much for potential as for what I did at the J School. So in that vein, I'd like to say thank you for this award. It's an incredible honor. I'm going to treat this as a vote of confidence for all that I aspire to do. But hopefully in a few years down the road, I can be up here again and we can talk about some real achievements. <laughs> thank you.